Well, we come now to the final of the plus 100 kilo category. Lucas Kapalik of Czechia goes up against Jure Spikers of the Netherlands. It'll be Kapalik in the white jirogi, Spikers in blue. They've gone head to head once before. Kapalik came out on top. Let's have a look at their route to the final. Well, it was Agro Sylvain of Italy, Muranic and Rakimov who were down by Kapalik. And for Spikers, it was Dimitrashvili. Yes, but uh, that's only because uh, <laughs> you're scared of Dennis van der Geest who's listening out there. Yeah, uh, this man here is going to be a tough one, tough nut to crack here. He's on better form here, I have to say, uh, Lucas Kapalik. Two-time a world champion, two-time Olympic champion. This man, though, on great form today. Really good form. I'm not afraid to say... I know you're not. ...that I'm afraid of Dennis Van <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at you back home. He is. Well, I mean, it's bears all round when he, he gets back on the tour. No, you said he'll never buy you a beer again. If I say that uh, Kapalik's going to win, which I haven't, so I'm already <laughs> salivating with first. There we go. <laughs> Kapelik in white here and Spikers who's uh, doing some good attacks all day. He'll have to be careful on the ground, Spikers. He knows that though. He's been watching a lot of uh, films of Kapelik. He'll know. So this is where he has to watch out. He can't stay on all fours. Kapelik will look for the double lapel. He'll search it out and now start the, the roll. And only, well, just, you know, chink in the armour, if you like. Now then, Spikers has the, uh, has the belt there and good feet there and the uh, Dutch getting excited there in the, in the crowd. Spikers takes this, I want two beers. <laughs> Penalty picked up by Kapalik. Seeing Aggie there from uh, Spikers off the sleeves. Decided to come out here and uh, fight Kapalik hard. Like I said, he's uh, yeah, on good form, uh, Spikers. There might be a second penalty here. I think there might be, right? Yes. Oh, he was looking at him, wasn't he? But. I'm looking at the no. wrong person yeah, there. He, he was looking at, at me, yeah. Looking at Jure for a moment. Slightly telegraphed, wasn't it? Slightly, but uh, puts him ahead of Kapalik, and Kapalik uh, has, needs to uh, just speed it up a little bit. He's just falling back on uh, attacks. Of course, it's all about scores. It's not about attacks, but uh, he kinda gets one more Shido, and uh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. So here's the thing then, with so much time left on the clock, so he's got to, to manage this. I was gonna say, you know, the, you don't want to offer up any opportunity for for Kapalik to get involved in his strong suit, which is he's going to go ground. over it. He's going to go over yeah, and he's going to go on to yeah, his back. Oh. And uh, now he's going to tie up the top half there to take the leg out. Watch him come up to the top half. Is he going to decide not to? He, the only reason he'll decide not to is if he thinks it takes too much out of him. No, he's going to go for it. That leg's going to come out, is it? He's going to go again for it. He'll have a second little stab at this to get this leg out. If it does come out and he uh, stabilizes, it'll be all over. Yes, it's going to be oh, all gone. over. And uh, now he stabilizes in for the Tati Shiogatami. That was his chance, wasn't it? Get a little bit of movement there with the uh, Newata, and uh, he's not going to let that go. He's classic just shape. Yeah, Sorry. classic shape for it, absolutely. So we end on Ippon then, and uh, it's, it's game over there. Lucas Kapalik then back to his winning ways and that's nice to see great champion well not for me i don't get any beers you don't get any beers now do you <laughs> well he's not going to get me any either is he well because i don't drink anymore well as you say it's nice to see 
from the from Kapalix point of view, especially coming very, very quickly on the back of a, a disappointment. At, uh, yeah, in, he was disappointed, you know, he, he got taken out, and, and this was much, much better for him. Probably, I don't know, training-wise, you know, yeah. just got his training period periodization uh, just a little bit wrong. And here he is, you know, I mean, he's still blown a little bit, but uh, that was a good win for him. It really was a good win. And my, my, my question to you very quickly before we go to the awarding ceremony is, had this been the other way around, you know, four, five, six weeks, I think six weeks. Where it falls sometimes. Yeah. Here's the um, leg coming out, and he had a, a, a couple of times he uh, had to get uh, to m work hard to get that leg out, then just readjustment of balance there onto the top half. And uh, once Capella gets into a situation like this, you're not going to get him yeah. off. And we said with a, a minute 50 left on the clock, what Joe Spikers didn't want to do was to get into a position that gave Capella a chance in, in his strong suit, which was Neywazer. And as we were saying it, it was developing. Yeah, well, that double lapel 